Methodist Hospital of Southern California presents a Medical Minute on anti-aging with Dr. Shirley Chi. There are two issues with exercise and anti-aging. The first is you want to keep your blood circulation going so that you look and feel more youthful. But the second thing is when you exercise, you want to protect yourselves, run or swim earlier than 10 in the morning or after 2 or 3 in the afternoon. Diet is important for anti-aging because we find that certain types of food lead to more inflammation, whereas other types of food seem to reduce inflammation in your body, therefore encouraging youthfulness and anti-aging. So therefore, if you eat a lot of red meat, for instance, alcohol, these are all types of foods that increase inflammation and you'll find that your levels of inflammatory factors in your blood go up. However, if you stick to more of a vegetarian diet, if you eat a, lot, eat a lot of fruits and vegetables and whole grains, you'll find that your inflammatory factors go down in your blood, therefore causing a more youthful appearance. So if you want to slow down aging, the first thing you have to do is wear your sunscreen every day. Even if it's raining, you want to just get in the habit of wearing sunscreen on your face, your neck, and if you can, your hands every day. The second thing is, if you can, stop smoking. If you're smoking, you must stop smoking. That accelerates aging, wrinkling sunspots to an nth degree. Please don't do that. And the third thing is, antioxidants have been shown to be the cornerstone of anti-aging. So we like people to apply maybe a vitamin C cream or an antioxidant cream. Another good uh, product is a retinol, which is a vitamin A cream. Um, these are all antioxidants, and you can find them in foods and in topical creams.